want to be able to do exactly what I'm doing unmolested and we'll be good to go. Considered publicly funded property, but it's controlled property. All you had to do was comply with my request to leave the area. I do love that he knows what he is talking about. You go, Commander. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to FAQ The Madness. My name is Craig. Once again, repping the First Amendment through the lens of my camera and occasionally unblurring the lines between truth and deception from First Amendment auditor trolls. This interaction comes from Tyrant Terminator Audits, who visits the Public Safety Center Sheriff's Department in Yorkville, Illinois. As he says in order to... They respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. So let's go see. All right, well, let me know. Send me an update. The coroner's okay. office. Hope it all works out. Kendall County Coroner. You're, you're welcome. Bye. Hi, Mayo. Hello. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, it was Kendall County's coroner's office, right? That's right. Okay. Draw the fee, cremation report, autopsy, toxicology. Okay. Is there something that you're needing? No, not at the moment. Uh, maybe, maybe a little. What's your name? Is it Sherry? Sherry? Okay, mm -hmm. Sherry. Yeah, not at the moment. Didn't need any help. Just coming out to document Yorkville today. Okay. Yeah, see the sheriff's department. I'll be out there. So I'll be hanging around for a moment. I mean, if I do, though, I'll definitely let you know. Okay. All right. All right. What are we, what are we documenting today? Oh, just the city of Yorkville. Oh. Yeah, that's about it. What's your name, man? Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, just... The city of Yorkville, uh, you know, coming through you guys' town, just checking it out, making sure everything's up to par in terms of public servants and stuff like that. So, right, okay, well, thanks. Ah, for sure. And one of the first things that Frauder Wrangler complained about was that TTA went to the coroner's office. And he blew up, put up a blurb that said, coroner's office. Now, obviously, you can go check out the coroner's records online. Right, but you'll even see it. in the office that they list the fees and who do you contact and those kind of things. So a person can go and FOIA request certain information. In fact, I listed three PDFs where you can check out uh, what information they have available for FOIA requests. Of course, Frauder Wrangler tries to sensationalize the fact that he went into the coroner's office. All right. Sherry was cool. I think the other young lady name was Jackie, or something like that. She was cool too. Get no county. In this one, he runs into an officer that not only is smarter than he is, knows the law, but is not afraid of it. Kudos to this officer. You uh, working on something? Uh, you can call it that. <laughs> Why, what's up? Uh, just wondering, this is a secure part of the parking lot for all Sec enforcement vehicles. It's not secure, secure. it's a little fence, but. Secure, secure. fence, but. It's always interesting when law enforcement officers use quotations what does quotations mean is it some kind of baffling them with bullshit going on because they don't know exactly what the law is and they're just making things up and they happen to be uh, opposed to a person walking around in public with a camera translation stupid it means it's restricted you've been verbally notified according to the supreme court that's going to be good enough for you since you obviously can't read they don't need signs up you can be verbally notified and you have been. 
for whatever reason, Frada Wrangler falls in love with the deputy commander that Tyra Terminator uh, encounters in the parking lot. Like I said, I think that Frada Wrangler has some kind of bone to pick with uh, Tyra Terminator auditors, and it shows in his review of this interaction. Yeah, yeah, no, I because I was just looking there. There's no restricted, even restricted signs out here at all. No, What's your name, uh, well, badge number, like, sir? I'm uh, Deputy Commander Waltmeyer. Waltmeyer. Six nine. Six nine. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, there's no like uh, restricted signs or anything even. Okay. Not even just the gate. It's not even a sign out. Gotcha. So what you what are you working on then? I'm just documenting today. Uh, creating, uh, basically gathering content for a story. I went over to the coroner's office over there. I seen him. Okay. So, you know, are I'm you with a particular publication or uh, I really don't want to get out any information like that. Uh, sheriff, you know, respectfully, I'm just like I say, just want to be able to do exactly what I'm doing. unmolested, and we'll be good to go. OK, uh, what's your name? I don't want to give that at this time. Okay. I mean, I gave my name. Well, well, I know you don't you, have to. But... Well, right there. There right. you go. So I'm just exercising okay. rights today. So. You're exercising rights. I thought you were there gathering content for a story. Well, you got a lie to fraud it. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a controlled area, even if it's not secured. Controlled. So... I'm just going to read a, a small portion of uh, the statute, the Illinois statute, that pertains to this scenario. It is 720 ILCS. 521-3 Criminal trespass to real property. A person commits criminal trespass to real property when he or she knowingly and without lawful authority enters or remains within or on a building, enters upon the land of another after receiving prior to the entry notice from the owner or occupant that the entry is forb forbidden remains upon the land of another after receiving notice from the owner or occupant to depart. It's controlled as in the sheriff's office controls who goes in and out of this area. Okay. So um, if you wanted to go over to like the public side where the public parking lot. Yeah, actually, I'm going to get all of it. Right now, I'm just documenting the vehicles, you know, the, um, these taxpayer public vehicles, obviously. And um, sure, sure, sure. just want to be able to do that, you know, because um, like I said, there's no restricted sign. You guys definitely, if you want to keep people out, you guys should put up a fence, oh, man. It's wide that. open right I now. Know. So I know there's costs associated with that, obviously. And yeah. you get it through the county board and all of that stuff. Oh, well, y'all definitely got the money, though. I mean, if you, if you bring it up cost, so, you know. Okay, gotcha. Uh, would I be able to get you to head over to the lobby area or the front area, one of the more the yeah, publicly accessible areas? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just after I get these, my shots, I definitely head, head over. I'm not done documenting it gather my content well i mean if there's if there's information you're looking for on the squad cars you can fill out a freedom of information request yeah i'm going to do one of those as well okay. but i just want to get some shots some actual shots of the inside of the vehicles and make sure everything looks like it's up to par we don't see any illegals or anything in there you know all right well why don't why don't i have you head over to the public area though this is a like i said this is a controlled area the sheriff's office does have the ability to control who's in this parking lot area yeah i so understand what you're at saying this but point, if you don't have any business like working on the cars like doing actual function check for the electronics or something like that right then there's no need for you to be well i'm actually like checking the tires and stuff too to make sure that they're you know yeah, they're up to par contractor with the sheriff's office it sounds like correct well i don't need to be actually that's where you're wrong again see you would need to be authorized and approved and verified by the sheriff's department and or your company that was hired by the sheriff's department to do any work or inspections on that car so that they can make sure that they don't have some 53 year old unemployed crackhead tampering with their vehicles, you know, such as yourself. I wasn't able to specifically find a law or a policy that says that you have to be authorized to be able to uh, work or inspect cars. And inspection in this case doesn't necessarily have to be anything, anything that is intrusive or requires any access to the vehicle other than walking around and possibly touching the tires or kicking the tires, if you will, that is not a, a, an inspection per se, and it wouldn't hold any weight or justification behind any, any monies that would go to an entity. So, of course, if an individual was actually inspecting these vehicles for the purpose of, of business or repairs or those kind of things, then they would need to be authorized to do so. But... Being located in an area that is not restricted, not gated, no signs indicating that it, is, that it is otherwise unable to be accessed by the public, 
there is no reason that they should be alarmed by him simply being around these vehicles. If you had any, if you had any concerns about someone being around vehicles and you needed to control it, wouldn't you have some type of gates or signs, etc., that would keep them keep you from being around those vehicles? No, I don't need to be to well, exercise that right. Well, for for us to be comfortable with people coming in and out of the area, right? What I what I'm saying is that. You know, if anybody just comes in here, we don't know what they're doing necessarily. Well, I just explained it, Sheriff. Well, right. I just respectfully, right. I did just explain right. to you exactly what I was doing. What I'm saying, though, is that we consider this a controlled area. If you have not been invited to this area for the purposes of working on a car or mm -hmm. something else for the sheriff's office, I just ask that you you step over towards the front end, you know, the public parking lot or the front lobby. Like I said, and, and, and again, I'm definitely going to. If you want to, if you want to just to make sure, you know, you're doing everything correctly. If you want to call, a, uh, you guys have a sergeant or some sort of. I'm the so, deputy commander. So okay. So well, who's over you? The commander. Okay. Well, then can you get him or her out here? He's out of town. Well, uh, well, the next person is the under sheriff. He drove away as I was pulling in for lunch. Okay. Well, so, yeah. Like I say, sheriff, I'm gonna just. Sir, at this point, if if you're not gonna leave, mm -hmm. we're gonna start looking at this as a trespassing issue. Then well, you can't trespass from public property, sir. It's, you know, it's controlled public property, and that's that's, that's the difference. So, public property like the lobby. That's that would correct. Be fine. We wouldn't mess around. Well, with that. does this this, this parking lot is considered public property as well? It's considered publicly funded property, but it's controlled property. As it could be, even if it's controlled, that still doesn't supersede my constitutional rights. It, if you're gonna it, wage war on my rights today, then that, that's gonna be on you. Because 720 ILCS 521-3 states that trespassing don't even apply when the public is open, when, when it's public property open to the public. Open to the public. That's correct. Correct, open to the public. That's correct. We wouldn't consider this portion open to the public. You probably won't personally consider it, is, but it's definitely open because there's no restricted sides. You could be just telling me anything. Well, my, didn't that just sound like a lawful order for you to stop trespassing in a restricted area? Please F this up. And this is likely the most important component of the statute as it relates to this particular situation and the location that uh, Tyrant Terminator is. It says, for the purposes of item one, which you read above, of this subsection, this section shall not apply to being in a building which is open to the public while the building is open to the public during its normal hours of operation. Nor shall this section apply to a person who enters a public building under the reasonable belief that the building is still open to the public. I'm out here gathering content for a story. In a restricted area. This That's is not restricted, though. It's it, not restricted. I'm telling you, it's considered restricted. You be telling me anything, sir. That's why the whole thing's for signs. Even if you don't have a gate, respectfully, you still should have a sign up to at least say that. And There's no signs at all. Okay. At this point, sir, I'm going to demand your, your uh, identity just because oh, now, yeah. now it would be considered a trespass. Well, I'm not. I'm, 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 you, yeah, I'm, I'm just giving a, you warnings. I've given you ample opportunity to not ID yourself. All you had to do was comply with my request to leave the area. Yeah, I know, but it, you're, you're asking. You're, it's not. So, and let me let me just get this correct. You're you're asking okay. for my demand. You're demanding about, my ID. How, how about this? I'll give you one final opportunity. If you depart the area to the public area now, we can call it square. I won't demand your ID. We'll what? consider it that you didn't understand what was going on. I provided you with the context. Well, I, 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 you, I definitely think I you should get. You I think you. Should, I, I the definitely think you should. To comply. You should contact someone of a higher authority before you step into some mess. No, he's not. In fact, what you're doing is criminal, just so you know that. Right now, you're looking at criminal trespass and obstructing governmental operations and possibly disorderly conduct. The crime is I have alerted you to the fact that you are not allowed in this area. I have demanded that you leave, and if you have failed to leave, that this constitutes trespass. So, so the thing is, you don't have any trespassing signs, right? There's no restricted signs to say that you would be trespassing. You see how that, matter of fact, if I can show you back here, it's, a, it's actually a trespassing sign on that gate right there. What is on, that indicating? On the on the gate all the way in the back? No, this one right here with this watchtower, with the cell phone tower, it's a, it's a, it's a sign saying trespassing on that, on that gate. Absent a sign, I can provide you with verbal notice. No, I'm just asking you, what does that sign mean on that gate? The sign means that... If I access that gate right now, I'm trespassing. Exactly. So my point is, there's absolutely none of those here for this parking lot. But I have verbally told you. That. Yeah, but you could be just telling me anything, officer. You could just be telling me. And again, you've been verbally notified. And the Supreme Court of the United States has said that a verbal notification is just as much forewarning as a sign. And ignorance of the law is no excuse. You know what you're doing is wrong.
do better. So the, it's very interesting the way Fraud at Wrangler says that it's just as much forewarning as a sign. And the law here states that they need prior notice. I think that's the most important way of looking at it. You give someone prior notice that the area is restricted. Not once you see them on the area or in the area and you don't like what they're doing or you want to know what they're doing and they're being evasive and you can't get their name. They can't, they are not complying to everything that you want them to do as an officer. Then you tell them that it's a restricted area. It's kind of a walkthrough so that you can kind of see what's going on here. As you can see, the front of the building, there's, there's the front sidewalk that leads around to the side of the building where they are. And to the left, you can see where the public parking is. You can see signs along the, where it says no parking. So there's no parking on the signs. And it does appear that all of the stalls are labeled. It looks like they were standing somewhere around here. You can clearly see that there's likely no parking in any of those stalls. They're all, all accounted for. No gates, no signs. And then he, of course, he mentions this tower. And you can see a sign that says no trespassing. Or we, you know, authorized personnel only. I don't know how you get into there, but if you are in that area, you're unauthorized to do so. But like I was saying, on the other side of that fence, looking outwards to where we're standing right now, viewing now, there is no sign that says a restricted area that way. And how would you get to that area anywhere but from an area where you could access that's publicly accessible? All of this area, which is where they were, standing in front of the building, clearly marked. How would I get there? How, do, how, does, he, how does he get there? And then you can see clearly a employee entrance. Okay, fine. Go to the other side. But there's no indication that it's a restricted area. If you refuse again to depart the area, then I will consider it trespassing in a controlled area because I've provided you with the notice that's legally mandated. I will demand an identification. If you fail to provide an identification, then there we have an obstructing a police officer at that point, right? So now okay. we have two offenses that we're dealing with. Okay. So, and at that point, if you continue to refuse identity we would have to bring you into the jail to be fingerprinted to confirm identity i do love that he knows what he is talking about you go commander if you're gonna um obviously threaten me with any type of arrest and i'm gonna be under duress i want to be able to make that clear on video that i'm i will be doing things under duress okay. from fear of being threatened with arrest okay. from you you understand that right yes, I do. in terms of identification so that's the first thing. If you're going to force me to do that, that's going to be another violation on your behalf, sir. That's the, the very first thing we need to entertain is this parking lot. So I suggest that you call someone that's of a higher authority to make sure you're doing the right thing. Do this all over. I know precisely what is it documented. Is it any written rule stating that this is controlled and that the public can't be here if you're not invited in? If it is written, I'll honor that and leave right away. Would you like me to put it down on paper somewhere for you? No, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't want you to do that. Let me, let me, let me just ask you then, what, tell me, walk me through specifically what you need and maybe we can find a, a happy middle ground. Now, Fraud at Wrangler, this guy, as Tyrant Terminator would say, loves this law enforcement officer for succinctly laying out the law which I think he does an absolute poor job of trying to get Tyrant Terminator 
from being in this area. I am not going to ruin the end of this video and there, there wasn't a whole lot that was necessary in order to break down what, what occurred, but I believe with what I've shown you that it's clear what occurred. Tyrant Terminator was filming in an area that was not marked, that had no gates that he could get from an area which was completely publicly accessible. He's approached by an officer who claims that it's a controlled area, meaning that he cannot, he can no longer be there. And Tyrant Terminator basically says, that's not the case. I am absolutely allowed to be in this place doing exactly what I'm doing, which is filming. I'm, if you would have observed, which you clearly did it, you would have seen exactly what I was doing and it probably would have been gone by then. This whole entire interaction took longer than it was necessary. Tyrant Terminator does in fact try to reason with the cop to explain to him that he is doing nothing wrong. But once again, Product Wrangler misrepresents what this officer says to Tyrant Terminator and what Tyrant Terminator responds to this officer with. And he re responds to this officer with absolute knowledge of what he is talking about. And Fraudent Wrangler has it wrong. He is misleading his audience in believing that this guy, this guy, the officer, is doing something that is so wonderful. He's fallen in love with this officer for no apparent reason. You can have all of the content possible from all of the First Amendment auditors that do what it is that they're doing, that they're testing the law, but when you report on it, get it right without giving it away because I, my desire is not to give it away. I sincerely hope that you check out the original video that Tyrant Terminator posts and see how he handles the entire encounter. Then I would like for you to also check out Fraud at Wrangler's video and see how he responds at different points to each of the things that the officer says and how he leaves out multiple instances where Tyrant Terminator explains the law correctly and then find out what happens in the end. I appreciate you making it to the end of my video. Please like and share and consider subscribing. If you subscribe, make sure that you hit the notification so you can see my next video. I've done now two videos of Fraud at Wrangler auditing this particular guy, this guy. In my opinion, in both instances, he has it wrong. I don't think I need to do any more. Uh, I may be likely done with uh, Fraud at Wrangler. I implore you, check out both of these videos, the links will be in the description, and see for yourself whether or not, <laughs> whether or not Fraud at Wrangler has it right. And I don't know why he's fallen in love with this officer because as far as I can tell, he really didn't do anything but, but protest Tyrant Terminator's appearance on scene and try to get him to leave the area and then the rest will remain to be seen. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate uh, all the people who subscribe recently, people who have been looking at my channel, who's get, who have given me feedback, who have told me, you know, do this, do not do that. I take all of your feedback seriously and I take it to heart and I appreciate the support. And I hope that I will continue to do right by the process, by you, do right by the First Amendment, do right by the way that I present the information. I hope it is inter entertaining. I hope it is in educational. I hope that it is newsworthy when at times when it is newsworthy. I do have a, uh, a very interesting case that is in Stowe, Ohio that I came across and I'm waiting on some information, but I will have that for you guys very soon. I can't wait to get it out for you, so. You're filming the outside of the cars, the inside of the cars. And that's it. Literally. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm
I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, no, this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift, oh.